The China of imaginations, one of Kung Fu masters perhaps, and mystical symbols on ancient buildings. Well, that sounds about right if you're familiar with films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But somewhere in these mountains is a little bit of the truth that fantasy is based on. It's where the China of the past lives on. This is Wudang. It's one of the four sacred mountains of Taoism. Now, Taoism is China's homegrown philosophical religion. It dates back about 2,000 years. And Tao or Dao in Chinese means the method, the path. So you can sort of understand it as the way of the universe. The underpinning idea is that all living things exist in harmony. Everything is connected through energy or qi, and nothing makes sense by itself. And Taoism is also about this life, <laughs> cultivating oneself to rise above your bodily needs and base desires and finding harmony with the world, ultimately achieving spiritual immortality. Now, we may not be born divine, but you and I do it right, and even we could achieve that. The deity worshipped here in Wudang, Zhen Wu Dadi, or True Warrior Emperor, Legend goes that he gave up his throne and lived a simple hermit life here for 42 years before he leapt off a cliff into immortality. Wudang Mountains has always been a haven for Taoists. Some of these buildings can be traced back to the 7th century. But it was about 600 years ago when the Ming Dynasty Emperor Zhu Di set about expanding the complex of palaces and temples and the mountain reached its apex as a Taoist mecca. It's such an exemplary of ancient Chinese architectural art and technology that it's a UNESCO heritage site. We're going up to the peak. We could walk for three hours or... We are literally above the clouds here, 1,600 meters above sea level at the Golden Summit. Now, there's a few inexplicable phenomena about this place that gives it an air of mystery and helps to cement its sacred reputation. And this shrine here, it's entirely prefabricated in bronze and gold plated, giving it its name. It took 300,000 people and more than a decade to build all this. Whatever your beliefs, I think you can feel a sense of reverence here, if not for divinity, then at least for human wisdom. The tourist numbers have to be capped at 20,000 a day. And already in just the first two months of this year, Wudang Mountains has almost neared its capacity. 1.1 million visitors coming here for the views, the history, and of course, the philosophy. Now, Professor Yang Li just studies Wudang culture, and I want to ask him how this applies to our modern day lifestyle. Zhang now we did promise some Kung Fu masters. Well, it's no airborne or rooftop battles. The uh, Wudang martial arts originating here is more of an internal practice. You've likely heard of Tai Chi. It is a meditative practice, but use your chi bite and it can still pack a punch. Inner tranquility and health. Something we could all do with in life.